Name the last time a player of this caliber came onto a team this dominant. He wants to do it, but he's worried about the reaction. The kind of gravy train, just a scapegoat move to try to ease your weight. He's done everything wrong. In his 10th year in the league, he's been a perennial all-star. He's been the league MVP, but he's never been the finals MVP. You're Bill Russell, 2017 finals MVP, Kevin Durant. When I watch him play the game, uh, it's incredible to see how, how he puts it all together. His size and skill set is something we've never really seen in this league. We've seen very skilled big guys before, tall guys, but not with his combination of size, skill, and athleticism, agility, quickness, ability to play multiple positions, and to be as accurate as he is. Kids are saying he's a unicorn. And when you talked about this in the last 40 years, Michael Jordan was six foot six. Kobe Bryant was six foot seven, six foot six. So when you're watching these guys, even LeBron James is six foot nine. But Kevin Durant is a full, you know, three, four inches to all of tall, these right? guys. He is, with that, like, he is the most unguardable human that's ever been created from an offensive standpoint. Can shoot, can dribble, can pass, can drive, can do everything. And right now is literally the prime and the pinnacle, I think, of his career. Kobe or LeBron? Well, I mean, I'd say uh, Kevin Durant. <laughs> no, what do you think about Kevin Durant? You, come, you, talk, you talk about these two, you battling who's the best. Kevin Durant is sneaking in the back door. How about the play, right? Um... Uh, Kevin had a, it's it's an Achilles injury. I don't know uh, the extent of it. He'll have an MRI tomorrow. Um, let me tell you something about Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant loves to play basketball, and the people that questioned whether he wanted to get back to this team were wrong. I think this team is very fixated on winning. They're out to start a new mission, just like every other team in the league. I'm sorry, when you talk about unstoppable, the only thing that stops Kevin Durant is Kevin Durant. Durant and Beverly. Here's Beverly. This time Durant, a foul ball on Durant, who forks out him. Durant, they're both out. They've both been just thrown out of the game. Durant on the pull-ups, nails it. There is no one mm. who can stop Kevin Durant except Kevin Durant. Big miss that time, Durant goes, Durant scores, and one for KD. with six on the shot clock. Oh. Wow. Tough turnaround for KD. We'll try to stay with him. Durant, again, same spot, pull up, same result. That's just unguardable. Second, Durant finds some room. Puts it in, Kevin Durant, 31 points. Yeah, Kevin Durant. You know who I am. Y'all know who I am. <laughs> and the goal. Right? Durant scared me because when Durant score, he don't say nothing. <laughs> he don't say, he ain't getting nobody excited. He ain't, he ain't trying to get LeBron pissed off or pumped up. He just scored my man and shh. Only thing he does at the end of the game, he kiss his mama, he hug his brothers. All right, I'm out. Game over. Shh. But the one thing he does, I don't know if you watched it, the first thing he does when he gets on the court is he does what? Y'all better start watching these games, bro, because you're going to need to do what these champions are doing if you're going to be a champion. The first thing he does is what with them numbers? Touch them numbers on the front. Touch them numbers on the back. And he 
he's doing that for who? Which coach? His coach that was killed. His coach died at what age? And he wears what number? He got a why. He got a why. He ain't just playing for no championship. He not. You got to hear what I'm telling you. If y'all going to be great on that field, you got to have a why. You got to have a reason for why you do what you do. When, when he comes out, he ain't tripping on LeBron. He, ain't, he don't care nothing about no Dwayne Wade. All he keeps thinking about is, I'm going to get one for my coach. Kevin Durant races one through. And he's hurt. He is holding on to his right Achilles. He looked back at it and he thought someone hit him in the Achilles. And you know what usually what that means. Look, right there. You know exactly what that means. That's what Kobe Bryant did. You I'm know not saying he has no, that, but, but this is exactly, exactly what, what Kobe did. He goes to the locker room, and this is a major story. Time out. How I felt once I came down from the shot, I pushed off to run back down court. I thought somebody tripped me up. And I looked back, and I'm like, first thing that came to my mind was like, Boogie said, Kobe said, I felt like somebody just kicked him or did hit something, tripped him or something. So that's the first thing that went to my mind. I was like, let me slow down and process a bit what's going on. And then I started walking. I realized that it's, you know, I can put some weight on it. It's not as bad as I thought. And I was pretty relieved after that. All right, thank you. Thanks, y'all. That's why he ain't all smiling. Because why? He's not smiling because what he's trying to accomplish, he has not what? He ain't got it yet. He ain't geeked about winning no game. He not geeked about beating San Antonio. He not tripping because they up one game. That boy, and you ain't gonna see that boy smile until he get the championship. And when he get it, he gonna hold up. The problem with some of y'all, the reason why you don't give 120% every doggone time you get on the field, cause you ain't got a why for what you do. You ain't got a why. I walk in the room, I can see some of y'all. I spoke to all of y'all when y'all came in for the most part. Why? Because I'm looking in your eyes. And I see some of y'all, and you ain't serious. And you think you about to go out there with the Ray Lewis of the world? They go, please, when Ray come out, you see the passion. Every game, you see the energy. He come out every game like, y'all follow me. Follow my lead, baby, and we gonna win this thing. What's your why? I, if, hey, if I don't give y'all nothing else, you better start that. What's your why? You know why I do what I do and I do it so passionately? Because my grandfather was a high school dropout. My father was a high school dropout. I was a high school dropout. And we about to break the cycle. I do what I do. So my son won't have to go do what I want. Swear I won't forget this Why do I regret this? In my mind reckless Thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless Anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless Betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open I hate being broken I feel like an ocean Filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion Rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking Reopen the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost now Never at home, need to be strong every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go You have one shot on stage, but you got to play Generic drops for days, still the people rage Am I not insane? Can you stop and explain Why these drops are so lame? It's money buying you fame I'm fucking on, I'm killing it with this song You haters can sing along or go back where you belong Yeah, there's nothing wrong with giving up, moving on Cause I took your girl to prom, she can't help but sing this song yeah. Comes off till the lights Durant. go out Till my Good legs night. get out Can't I'm shut free. my mouth till the smoke clears out And my heart progress I'ma rip this shit till my bones collapse Till the roof comes off Till the lights go out Till my legs get out Can't shut my mouth Till the smoke clears out And my heart progress I'ma rip this shit till my bones collapse Dynamic She's 
so on like a light switch flirting back There's nothing wrong with the way that she's working that I just want that body back, come on baby bring it back